Welcome dear friends, welcome to the platform of Crypto TV, an unique initiative, first of its kinds in India as well as in the globe to disseminate information regarding cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency platform, cryptography and crypto community as a whole. This is Abhijit Hajra, I am a technology leader working on deep tech initiatives as well as I am an entrepreneur working on next gen technology including next gen cyber security, next gen cryptography and artificial intelligence. So I will today describe you about a new innovation, about a story on cryptography and cyber security that is totally make in India initiatives made by Indians and we will offer to the people, to the community, to the industry throughout the globe. So, I will just uh, describe you, describe the story through few slides. So, when we talk about cyber security in any industry, be it in a crypto, be it in banking and financial sector, be it in other industrial applications, there are a lot of limitations in today's world of cyber security because the digital penetration and digital spread is increasing day by day and people are increasing digital technology and accessing digital technology in uh, throughout through their mobile devices, throughout their handheld devices. So the mobile penetration in terms of digital technology are increasing. So the old methods of securing devices, securing communication channels, securing networks are getting obsolete day by day. And this is happening very faster. COVID has basically disrupted uh, the digital penetration in last almost two years. Whatever digital penetration and transformation happened, that was not happened in the last few decades. So that cyber security and the cryptographic methods should adapt with that curve. And we have brought the new technology which will transform, which will disrupt the security market. So we'll talk about whatever the areas of cyber prevention and cyber security is today's world. We can talk about the data privacy and security. We can talk about the data theft and leakage. We can talk about the careless insider uh, breach of information. We can talk about the confidentiality of data and information. Then we can talk about the data protection. We can talk about the phishing attacks. We can uh, talk about the regulatory compliance and different malware and spams that basically uh, create problem in the security arena. So what we have done, we have identified those security threats and the area where there is a lacking in the cyber security space and in the security space. There, there are traditional available solutions. So I would not go into details about it. The traditional solutions and what are their limitations of those traditional solutions. To, all we know about that in a brief. And what are the problems that has been caused by lack of training and lack of information, those who are ensuring that the cyber security and compliance should be adhered. Now, we have how we have came up with, a, with this new technology and what about our new technology? Our new technology is based out of new in encryption standards, new methods on encryption. So our core team consisting of some mathematicians, their core mathematicians working on some new mathematical formulas came up with some one-way mathematical functions. So traditionally, the cryptography, the encryption that we use today, be it in blockchain, be it in cryptocurrency, be it in banking applications, be it in mobile security, whatever encryption we are using today is based out of a mathematical applications called modular arithmetic. But we have come up with a new innovations based on one-way mathematical functions that our scientists had came up with and we have patented the technology. Though we have 50 odd processes on the, that technology, we have, right now we have patented five processes that will uh, 
give us more industrial applications of those technologies. So once our core mathematicians have came up with the new methods of um, mathematical functions, one-way mathematical functions, we have converted those into software technology based on en new encryption standards. So what does it mean by those new encryption standards and where we can apply those new encryption standards, we'll discuss about them. So our solutions that we are talking about, new in innovation on cryptography is based out of one-way mathematical functions and those technologies are giving solutions through security and that through hybrid key encryption. I will come across that what does it mean by hybrid key encryption and we will talk about our solutions can be applied to universal identifiers, multi-tier encryption and decryption and encryption on demand, any data, anywhere, anytime, anyone. That is very much important because today we are living in a mobile era. We are there anywhere. We are there anytime. So we are mobile, we are fragile, we are connected through multiple devices. COVID has taught us that we, can, we have to work from home sometimes. So location independent we have to be. So uh, that anywhere, anytime, any place encryption is needed in today's arena and our technology can provide you that. So what does our technology mean and how it can be applied? So traditionally till now we are borrowing standard encryption technology from the West, from US that we talk about RSA encryption standards, we talk about AES encryption standards. We talk about ECC encryption standards. ECC is mostly used in blockchain technology. RSA is used in banking, financial, lot of applications. AES is getting used. An example is WhatsApp uh, application use AES technology. The basic AES encryption bit, 64-bit AES encryption. That is called symmetric encryption. So I will not go more about technology. I will go more about the story of the innovation that we wanted to bring to your notice bring to your information. So uh, we talk about we have created that encryption out of a disruptive innovative formula though that innovation brings encryp encryption faster. We have made encryption faster by uh, that innovation. So that 3072 bit encryption right now or higher standard NASA is using. We can make this encryption available at your doorstep, available through your computer, available through your uh, mobile devices. That in today's world, all the different systems, uh, space systems, they are using the higher order bit encryption because that needs supercomputing environment to process those encryptions. But we are bringing more faster encryption that can be processed by your laptop or your desktop, even your mobile. So higher order bit encryption, we can able to provide you for the common people. So bringing the security to the common people, that is our objective. So bringing the security to the masses. So you are providing higher order encryption to the masses so that a particular mobile devices with uh, Android application or iOS application can use the next gen technology, next gen security, make their device secure, make your laptop, desktop, mobile secure. So that is the objective of higher order with encryption. And Second is that our encryption, we have come up with a multiple encryption keys. Today, in today's uh, environment, whatever encryption standards people are using in security, it is having a private key and a public key, a two key encryption. So they are having a lot of limitations because uh, in certain real life applications, multiple key encryption is needed. Two keys, private public keys or asymmetric key encryptions have their own limitations. So our encryption, our new in innovation that is the first time in the world we are providing, we brought multiple pair of keys for single entity. That is we can generate multiple keys out of a single pair. So that is a new innovation that can solve a lot of real life problems that I will came, come back to you later. And there are multiple layer of encryption. Suppose that we are generating OTP 
for security, mobile based OTP. So when you are doing a banking transaction, you get a OTP to your mobile, which you will put uh, in the system and your transaction happens. So there is an additional layer of security that is also happening through encryption. So here we are put, putting multiple layer of encryption. Suppose in a bank approval, there are five officers, they need to encrypt. So in, a, in today's situation, everybody will sign through their digital uh, signature and do it. So if digital signature is compromised, then the entire bank fraud can happen or somebody can uh, externally through attacks can compromise the security key, they can do attacks. But in our encryption standard, we can have multiple layers of encryption that will enable people, that will enable uh, users to have more security in the systems. So as they need the security, as uh, they need, it will get into the multi-layer mode and more and more security can be added to their system. So that is another innovation that has been done. But the most important innovation is this too, that is a generation of multiple keys in a single layer of encryption that is not uh, existent in today's world. So that is a new innovation that we have brought and we think that this innovation India can offer to the world that can create disruption in tomorrow's security. And higher level key encryption, I should obviously tell that our encryption technology is quantum resistance because quantum computing is coming. That is still in the R&D environment, but it is coming very faster. So quantum computing is getting used by the larger cloud providers like Google, Amazon, or IBM, Intel, they are using those higher level quantum computing environment. So once the quantum computing will come, today's encryption standard, what people are using today, will break. That will not work. So the next generation encryption technology, which is easily available, which is faster, which is more accessible, needs to be used and needs to be adapted. So we can offer, India can offer this technology to the world. So this is the portfolio, this technology still now, it's an innovation that we have brought. We are doing multiple level of testing with this innovation. We are talking to the industries, we are talking to the academia, we are talking to the research organization to bring more and more application to the table. It can have multiple applications. We know few, quite a few that we have done a proof of concept or we have applied those technology uh, till now. But we have a lot of scopes, a uh, lot of arena to expand this technology for future generations to the future world. So this is secure communication. Any type of communication channel can use this security, be it a www World Wide Web, where most of the communications, data theft and communication fraud is happening. So that can be used, be it uh, from any devices. Th this secure communication channel can be more secure through this encryption, almost unbreakable through this encryption, through the uh, higher bit encryption and the multiple layer of encryption. And there are enterprise storage applications. So the data storage of enterprises can be made secure, made, can be made more secure, unbreakable uh, security can be adopted by them through these applications. Then on-demand encryption, I will come down to that particular uh, topic that we need the common man, what they need. They need their mobile to be secure. They need sometimes to their laptop or their desktop to be secure. So whatever data they kept over there, whatever password they kept over there, their banking information, their ATM card information or other information, whatever they have uh, kept over there needed to be secured. So their device, their small mobile device or their uh, computing device need to be secured and kept as a secure vault. So our encryption just by a simple application can make their device secure. By a simple app or a simple application installed in the computer or an app in the mobile can make their device a very secure vault, as secure as a locker in your bank. So that is a secure vault, on-demand encryption. Then we can talk about database encryption. So we, we would talk about data today. We are generating a lot of data. We are generating social media data. We are generating 
banking data, we are generating telecom data, and all those data consist of secure user information. So that has to be secured properly. And this, uh, our technology, new innovation, can make those database encrypted without any hassles, without any complexity. It can be more secure, less complex. So that's the offering. And then the channel encryption. So it can be used. We are uh, trying to do a pilot with ISRO, Indian Space Research Organizations. So to make their channel secure, they are communicating from the satellite to the base stations. And the multiple base stations at a stage, at a single communication, the entire communication channel can be made secure. And that is the application that our public sector, our government, our exclusive bodies, the bodies whom we are proud of, they can use that next level of in, uh, encryption technology to secure their communication, very, very sensitive, highly sensitive, secure data, secure information. And then on premises encry encryption, suppose I am just standing on this uh, crypto TV channel platform. We are maintaining a lot of data here. So those data are exclusive. Those data need security. So on the premises data, our servers, our computers, our uh, digital devices that needed security. So this encryption technology by simple app or applications can make the entire environment secure. So that is the application which makes security available to your desktop, uh, doorstep, security available to your devices very easily, very make it convenient and make it easier to access and having more security in place. And then universal identifier, we are thinking of that lot of data breaches are happening when you are talking about your universal identity, talking about your other identity, talking about your passport identity, your PAN identity, lot of identities uh, we are having. So other data and other data can, data breach can be prevented with the multiple layers of encryption and the multi-key encryptions where uh, in a single transaction multiple key can be generated and made secure. So these are all applications. I will not go into the technical details. I will only talk about that we have created a simple plugin that can be integrated with your Google Mail or any other mails. We have just uh, tested with uh, Gmail server. So integrated with that and make your Gmail account or Google Drive, wherever most of the information we are retaining, personal information in our Google Drive, in our Google Mail, so those will make secure. And even the cloud provider like Google could not access you without your permission. So that's the kind of security with a simple plugin, simple activation we can make available to the common people's doorstep. So we'll talk about secure vault. So I already discussed with you that secure vault is nothing but your device, be it a big server or be it a small mobile, your device can made secure, as secure as a vault in the bank. So your data is protected with a simple application or app into your device, you can make your data protected with a higher order bin encryption with our new technology. That's nothing but a secure vault. Then other use case, so we are using in cryptocurrency or in blockchain or in environment where we connect a lot of IoT devices, there are a lot of problems. In uh, when we are remotely accessing device, and that is basically the fourth generation technology we are talking about, the cryptocurrency platform, the, uh, we are talking about uh, connecting a lot of devices uh, with our system. We are connected in mobile, we are connected in laptop, we are uh, using a lot of applications. So we are using a lot of IoT devices and a connected systems with lot of uh, devices attached to it or cryptocurrency platform to access information into multiple devices and multiple nodes. So that can be made secure with this technology, underlying technology. So then the banking technology, banking platform where security is a must, where security cannot be compromised. Once security is compromised, financial theft will happen. People will lose their money. So there, this technology will create disruption and enable people also 
use their own devices. We talk it about BOET, bring your own devices into the banking environment. Even bankers can work remotely once we use this kind of security. In today's world, in COVID scenario, in the pandemic situation, bankers are having a problem because their system cannot be taken out and placed to their home. But once we use this type of technology, then the security will be made available at your doorstep and bankers can work also remotely. So the banking and financial sector can take a lot of advantage out of those security standards. Before ending this discussion, I would like to tell that this is a technology which is developed in India, made in India, made by Indians, and this technology, we are ready to offer this technology to the global community, to the globe. And what India is thinking today, world is think tomorrow and adapt tomorrow or day after. So with this, I would like to conclude this session. And I would like to thank everyone who are viewing this session. And once again, thank you. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.